Hey guys, I'm Margaret, your Code Wizards HQ instructor. Today we're learning about Python lists, so let's get to it. In real life, similar things are often grouped together, right? So let's take, for example, the supermarket. We've got all the breads together, the cereals, the dairy. We've got different groups. So lists, like a to-do list or a grocery list, are also kind of a group of multiple things together, right? And here we've got some lists of different things as an example. We've got our grocery list, fruit list, and to-do list. And we've got a bunch of different items on each of these lists, but they're together because they're kind of similar, right? So many things in real life are also grouped like this. In Python, a list is an ordered collection of data and it's mutable, meaning that it can be changed, all right? And each element or value inside the list is called an item. So we've got a list and then items inside of our list. Here we have an example of a Python list called list name equals and then our list is written inside of brackets and we've got three items. We've got value one comma, value two comma, and then value three. So that's our whole list, but what if we just want one item inside of the list? To get a value from a list, you have to select the index for that list item and the indexes start at zero, all right? So the first item inside of our list has an index of zero, the second item one, and the third item two. So remember, our indexes always start at zero. Let's say from this list of foods, we've got taco, pizza, and nachos. You only want your favorite food, which happens to be foods with an index of one, all right? So we write it like this. We say our variable favorite food is equal to the list foods at index number one. So foods one, which food would that be? What is your favorite food here? All right, so foods one is gonna be pizza, yes, because our index one is pizza. How about if we said foods zero, what would that be? Tacos, perfect. All right, you guys are getting it, very good. Now let's try an activity. Let's create our own list and we're gonna call it Pokemon and it's gonna have three values. It's gonna have Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. So hop on over to your text editor. You can use whatever text editor you like best. I'm gonna be using our Code Wizards HQ editor. So let's create a variable first and we're gonna call this Pokemon equals and open and close two brackets. This is where all of our uh, list items are gonna go, all right? So inside of these two brackets. So we're gonna list out Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle as strings. So what do we need? We need some quotations. So let's do quotations and let's start with Charmander. And in order to put the next item in our list, we need a comma between each piece of data. So you've got Charmander in quotations. Let's do Bulbasaur inside quotations. And we also need another comma because we have one more item and that's gonna be Squirtle inside quotations. So now we've got this really nice list called Pokemon, and inside of it, we have three items, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. So write that out. Make sure all of your commas, your quotations, your brackets are in the right place. Beautiful. You have this great list of Pokemon now. So the next question would be, if we just want to access our favorite Pokemon, let's say, let's say that's Squirtle, all right? I don't know if it is or not, but let's just say it's Squirtle. How would we access the Squirtle item in the Pokemon list? Remember, we're gonna use that index number and that index number always starts at what? Zero, zero, right? Okay, so in our list, Charmander is gonna be zero, Bulbasaur is gonna be one, and Squirtle is gonna be two. So those are our index numbers. So remember when we wanna get the information out of the array, we can do something like this back in our text editor. We can say fave underscore Pokemon equals, and we want to get it out of our Pokemon list. So, so we're going to say Pokemon, open and close our brackets. Now using our index number inside of the brackets, who are we looking for? We're looking for Squirtle. So remember that he's zero, one, two is Squirtle's index number. So we're going to say Pokemon two. Now we can see if we got it right. Let's print out on the screen our fave underscore Pokemon and save that. Let's see if we got it right. Preview, 
Squirtle, perfect. All right, so now we see we've got Squirtle there. So that's our answer. We've got Pokemon 2, which is equal to Squirtle. That's it for our Python list. Go ahead and give yourself a little pat on the back. You did a really great job today. So our last Python lesson in this series is gonna be on loops. If you wanna join us, make sure you subscribe and follow along. As always, your child can learn how to code at codewizardhq.com. Um, keep up the good work and we'll see you next time.